Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I will go over a few questions that are related to clear certificate of waiver. Let's jump right in. First question is, I'm a physician performing urine dipsticks and finger sticks for blood glucose in my office as part of the patient's visit. Am I considered to have a laboratory and do I need a clear certificate? Generally, yes, as those tests likely qualify as waived laboratory testing, you need a clear certificate of waiver and you must follow the manufacturer's instructions. This kind of testing requires a clear certificate regardless of how many tests you perform, even if you do not charge the patient or bill, Medicare or other insurances. However, you may not need a clear certificate if your laboratory is located in the states of New York or Washington as those states operate their own laboratory regulatory programs. Contact the appropriate state agency to determine if you need a clear certificate. What is a WAVE test? As defined by CLIA, WAVE tests are categorized as simple laboratory examinations and procedures that have an insignificant risk of an erroneous result. The Food and Drug Administration or FDA determines which tests meet these criteria when it reviews manufacturer's applications for test system waiver. Can I perform tests other than WAVE tests if I have a certificate of waiver? The answer is no. Only those tests that are clear waived can be performed by a laboratory with a certificate of waiver. How do I enroll in or apply to the CLIA program? You can enroll your laboratory in the CLIA program by completing Form CMS-116 available on the CMS CLIA website or from your local state agency. Send your completed application to the address of the local state agency for the state in which your laboratory is located. Additionally, check with your state agency for any other state-specific requirements. If you do not have online access and do not have information about your state agency, you may contact the CLIA program at 410-786-3531 for the address and phone number of your state agency. When can I start performing the WAVE testing? After you apply for your certificate, you will receive a fee coupon assessing a fee. Follow the instructions on the fee coupon for payment. After your payment is received, your certificate will be mailed to you. You generally may begin testing once you have received your clear certificate, but you also need to check with your state agency since some states have additional state law requirements. If I only perform WAVE tests, what does CLIA require that I do? For WAVE testing, CLIA requires that you enroll in the CLIA program by obtaining a certificate, pay the certificate fee every two years, follow the manufacturer's instructions for the WAVE test you are performing, and notify your state agency of any changes in ownership, name, address, or laboratory director within 30 days or if you wish to add tests that are more complex. When performing wave testing, am I required to do everything in the instructions, even if some of the items are manufacturer's recommendations or suggestions? Yes, you must follow all instructions when such terms as always, require, shall, and or must are used by the manufacturer. You have the option to follow the recommendations or suggestions of the manufacturer. However, adhering to the manufacturer's recommendations and suggestions will help ensure the accuracy and reliability of the test and is considered good laboratory practice. Can I make any changes to the test system instructions? No, it is not acceptable for you to make changes to the current instructions provided with the test system. This could change the intended use of the test system as approved by FDA and result in a test that is no longer waived. For example, if a test specifies urine as the wave specimen type and you test a different body fluid, then you are no longer performing a wave test and your laboratory is subject to an inspection and additional clear requirements. You must be sure that testing personnel follow the directions exactly and add the proper reagents in the correct order and amount given by the manufacturer to ensure correct test results. Can I follow the quick reference guide instead of following the package insert? No, the quick reference guide is only a synopsis of the entire package insert. 
How and when will I be inspected? Laboratories with a certificate of waiver are not subject to a routine inspection or survey under the CLIA program, but may be surveyed in response to a complaint or if they are performing testing that is not waived. This is it for today. Thank you for joining me. If you found this information useful, please consider subscribing to my channel and leave me a few comments. Hope to see you next time. Bye now.